Right then. Welcome. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful, lovely, warm evening. You've actually got the doors open for the first time, so that's wonderful. Let's get the music sorted. So just, well, I'm going to say don't sit on a block to start with. So we're going to do a nice little seated flow to start our practice this evening. Okay. I'm just going to start our music again. Just quieten your gaze, quieten your mind. And just take a few nice deep inhalations. Just stretch up through the spine, roll the shoulders up and back, lift the heart space. Inhale and exhale. Start to deepen your breath into the belly area, exhaling away. Just inhale, exhale. As you inhale, just feel that passage of breath coming up the body, up the spine. You must like visualize it coming up the spine right from the root of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. And then exhale all down. Lovely. And just keep this passage of breath, breath, this flow of breath, just moving nice and steadily all the way up and down. And as you breathe, we're just going to have a little nod to our solar plexus chakra tonight. So our manipura. This is just based just in the center of your belly button and your sternum. So just above your belly button area. And it's the center for our self-esteem, our power, our self-power, that fire in our belly, that confidence from within makes us nice and creative. That gut instinct that you follow and where that kind of confidence, that self-confidence and self-belief comes from. So if this area is flowing, if the energy is flowing, you feel great, you feel very self-confident, you feel creative. If this area is a little bit sticky maybe it's not flowing great in this area at the moment your energy it can manifest itself through many different ways including the digestive system it's all about we do our twists a lot around this area as well so I'll twist this evening so the digestive system can suffer self-esteem confidence so you can work into this area to release the energy release that blocked chakra get the energy flowing again going to work into our Manipura Chakra tonight. So when you breathe in, just breathe into this area. You must visualize your breath, send it to this area. Bathe it in your breath, bathe it in your energy, your prana. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. And again, inhale, exhale. So just inhale. As you exhale, make the ha sound, but with the mouth closed. That ujjayi breath, narrowing the back of the throat. So try that again, inhale all the way up. And then make the ha sound, but with the mouth closed. Just warming up your airways. Keep lengthening through the spine. Inhale. 
Exhale. A nice affirmation for tonight's practice or a thought that you might want to go ahead and take with you throughout your week is find your fire. So just ignite that energy from within. So just take three more lovely long deep breaths all the way in and up. Exhale away. And again, inhale. Exhale. And then one more last breath all the way up. Exhale. And then as you inhale, start to roll the shoulders up and back. And again, inhale up. Exhale back. And the other direction, rolling the shoulders forward, really big, juicy rolls. And inhale up and exhale the shoulders forward. Just lower the chin towards the chest. Just take a nice stretch to the back of the neck. Inhale, just raise the chin, opening up the throat. And then inhale, raise the arms. As you exhale, just taking your right hand, your left hand rather, over to your right knee. Inhale, reaching up, pressing into that back hand. Take a nice twist. And then inhale, lift the right arm and just taking it over. So you're taking a nice side stretch here. That's it, taking it over towards the opposite knee. And then open up that right shoulder. Inhale. As you exhale, bring this right hand down towards your left knee. You end up with crossed arms. And then inhale, exhale, chin towards the chest. Just enjoy that nice stretch. Keep pressing the knees away. Inhale. And leave the arms exactly where they are. And then lift and start to bind your arms for Garandasana. So bringing the palms together, the thumbs facing the face. Inhale, lift the elbows, squeeze the knees, inhale. And as you exhale, release your bind, take your hands forward and just start to breathe yourself into a nice gentle forward fold. Inhale, exhale away. Inhale, start to walk yourself up nice and gradually and then bring this top leg this right leg over to the side. And let's take a nice hamstring stretch for a Janu Sarsasana. So reaching up, exhale, and just start to take the chest towards the thigh, holding on to the sole of the foot. You can even take your piece fingers around your big toe, breathe yourself down. You can have a bend onto that knee, that feels good. So inhale to lift. Exhale, just to stretch and bring that chest towards the thigh. And then inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself up and just place your hands over the opposite thigh and just have a nice twist here. You can even take your right hand onto that left side to give you a little bit more of a, a twist with resistance to push against. Squeeze the lower toes back, that straight leg. Inhale. And then as you exhale, reach up through the left arm and then exhale over towards your right toe. You can even hook onto that right toe or taking it up in the air, open up the top shoulder. Just looking underneath the armpit, lovely. Inhale. And then exhale away. And then take this leg and wrap, actually no, <laughs> wrap the other leg in front. So bring through the other leg. So just so you're opening up equally through the hips. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, take the right hand onto the left knee. Press that left hand behind you into your mat. Inhale to rise. Exhale to twist. And then inhale, release that right hand, bringing it up and take it over towards the opposite knee. That's it. 
Lovely. Inhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, place your hands on opposite knees. Inhale to lift. You should now have the opposite arm over the top. And then exhale to just bring the chin down towards the chest. Everyone we'll take a bit of a rock through the upper back to really feel the separation of your shoulder blades. So opening up the upper back. Inhale. As you exhale, take a nice bind. So wrapping the arms where they are and taking your Garandasana, your eagle arm. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Gently pulling the navel in. Inhale. So again, just thinking about this central area, our Manipura chakra, just pulling that navel to your spine. Inhale. As you exhale, release your bind. Take your hands onto your mat. Inhale to lift. And then exhale, take a nice little fold forward. Inhale. And then exhale to bring yourself back up. And then stretch out through your left leg this time. Turn your chest towards that thigh. Inhale to lift. And then exhale to fold. Really keep squeezing this lower toe back, that straight leg. So just squeezing, really starting to activate that lower calf muscle. You can hold it here. You can take your peace fingers. Inhale. Exhale a little bit deeper. And then inhale. Exhale to breathe up and then just taking both hands over the opposite thigh and just take a nice twist towards that right shoulder. You can even take that left hand onto that thigh and just gently press into that thigh so you can push against it for a bit of a deeper, of a deeper twist. Squeeze the lower toes of your straight leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And release, exhale, lovely. And then just reaching up through the right hand side, taking it over. So either holding onto the piece toe, the foot, or reaching over, opening up the top shoulder. Lovely. Inhale. And exhale through. Ah, and then bring the knees together and take yourself over into a tabletop position. We're going to work through cat cow and we'll bring a bit of tiger in as well. So pulling in that navel to the spine, having the wrist underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift through the spine, the lower spine, press into the heels of the hands. Exhale, start to roll through, tuck the chin. Inhale, bring the head up, open up the heart space, reaching the lower back, and then exhale, pull the belly button in. Take one more, inhale, really working and releasing through the spine. Exhale, rolling through, tucking the chin, pushing into the heels of the hands, and then taking to a nice neutral spine, stretch back through the right leg, and then lift the left arm. Inhale. As you exhale, crunching it in. So you're bringing the knee towards the nose, the elbow in. And then inhale and stretching straight again, right the way through. Exhale. Take it one more. Inhale. And then exhale down. And then bringing that foot up, same leg up, reaching behind if you wish. You can either just reach and have a nice tiger position or you can hold on to the ankle or the foot. Opening up here, wonderful chest opener, as well as a quadricep stretch. Front of the thighs, inhale, lift, and then exhale to release. And just take a nice sway through the hips, and then press back through the other leg. So reaching back through that left leg. Inhale, lift the left leg, reach forward to the right arm. 
Exhale and take a nice quick crunch. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tucking the chin. And then lift and lengthen one more time. And then taking the hand down, bending through that leg. So you're pressing the sole of the foot up to the sky. Lift the tiger and then reach back with that opposite hand. So you're taking the right hand back towards the left leg. Inhale and lift. Lovely, strong stretch for the front of the thigh, but also opening up the chest. Inhale. As you exhale, release. Then just take a nice child's pose, a nice balasana, wide knees, sinking down. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, come back up onto all fours. We're going to tuck the tailbone, or tuck the tailbone, tuck the toes. Inhale and exhale all the way up into downward facing dog. So here, take a lovely walk. So walk your dog. You can come up onto tiptoes and rock your dog. You can roll through the knees and the shoulders. Take whatever position your dog needs to go in to release that tension through your body. So listen to your body. Think about where it's been today, what positions it's been in. If you've been stuck in a car or behind a desk. You've been doing something in the garden or, you know, you need to release those shoulders, those hips. So inhale. Exhale, press the chest through towards the side. Release the heels down, but lift the hips. Lift, lift, lift. Spread the fingers. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the shoulders over the wrist. So you're coming almost into plank and then lower the hips down and release up. It is an up dog, you can always take it down to cobra if you wish. Inhale. As you exhale, roll over the toes or push back onto the knees. You can roll up the toes and lift back up into your downward facing dog, or you can push back onto the knees, tuck the toes and release again. We're gonna do a couple of these, quite strengthening for the wrists and the arms. Inhale. As you exhale, bringing the shoulders over the wrists, roll over the toes, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. You can even take a nice glance up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, over the toes or onto the knees, reach back. We'll take one more. Inhale. Exhale, bringing the shoulders forward. Releasing into a lovely up dog. Release the shoulders away from the ears. And then take yourself all the way down to your mat, onto your tummy. We're gonna take a lovely shoulder stretch. So reaching up through the right arm. I'll put it in as opposite to you. So I'll do the same as you actually, it might be easier. Right arm up, left arm out to the side. Kick up that left leg. So bend the knee and kick it up. So you're literally lifting the knee. Inhale, lift. As you exhale, taking that foot over the opposite side. Inhale. And then exhale back down and change the arm. So you're reaching up with the left, out with the right, and take the same leg over. So it gives it a deeper stretch now. So you should have your right arm up, left arm to the side, and you're reaching up and over with that left knee. Inhale. As you exhale, bringing the arms down, and then leaving the arms exactly where they are. You have your left arm up, right arm out, and then take your right knee up. Lift, lift, lift that right knee. Inhale. And then just taking that right knee over, our first one, and try to touch, touch the toe on the floor and lift the knee. Inhale. And then exhale, bring that knee back down. Change the arm. So your right arm is up, your left arm is out to the side. Lift through that right knee again. Inhale. Exhale over. You can feel ooh, that stretch into the shoulder. Inhale. As you exhale, bring it back down. And let's take a lovely locust pose. So reaching the hands back, the palms are up. Inhale and lift everything. Sides, lovely toes, arms, chest. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale away. You can take another locust or bend 
the knees, flex the ankles, hold the ankles or the feet. Inhale and lift here. Lovely. Bow pose. If you're breathing deeply enough, you might find you rock. Breathe into the belly. Reach the shoulders back. Roll those shoulders back. And then inhale. Exhale away. Wonderful. Sitting all the way back and up. Take a brief narrow balasana, the knees together. Take the arms back, lower the head. Inhale. As you exhale, press into the mat. Reach up and take one more shoulder stretch here. We'll do puppy dog. So leaving the hips underneath the hips, or the hips, the knees underneath the hips. Inhale. As you exhale, reach the arms forward, lower the heart space down towards your mat. You can take your chin or your forehead. Keep creeping the hands forward. Lovely. So just edging those fingertips up the mat. So you can see, you can feel that stretch deepening, just sinking that heart space down. Inhale. Exhale away. Wonderful. And then inhale. As you exhale, start to walk the hands back in, tuck the toes, and then reach the hips up for downward facing dog. Inhale, lift through the hips, sink the heels, press the chest through. So feel that wonderful flat back. Keep pressing the chest through. Take the gaze towards the knees. And as you inhale, reach the right leg up, the three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, bring the knee, the knee oh, round towards the chest and bring the shoulders over the wrist. Inhale. Exhale, back up to three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the outer elbow. Inhale and press back up to three-legged dog. And then exhale and bring the knee across the body to the other elbow. Lovely. Inhale, back up to three-legged dog. Keep pressing through that heel that's on the floor. And then as you exhale, swoop the knee down and plant the foot in between the hands. Wonderful. Now, I should have said, get your blocks. <laughs> Reach for your blocks. <laughs> I'll put them at the wrong end of the mat. So press your blocks down and just have a moment. Have a nice runner's lunge. Sorry, ladies. I should have said two blocks. should not nice. my fault. So press your hands into a runner's lunge. Make sure you've got your ankle underneath your knee. Inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, you're going to straighten the front leg. Come onto the flat foot or the back foot, but turn the toes out towards the top of the mat. So just turned out slightly, and you're coming into pyramid pose. It's a lovely, strong stretch for the hamstrings. I think some of you might feel that. <laughs> Inhale. You can always put the blocks up higher if you wish, or if you're feeling lovely and flexible, take the blocks away and press the hands into the mat. Inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself back into your runner's lunge. Drop the back knee. Quite far back with that back knee. And then start to heel toe the front foot over. We're going to take it into lizard. Okay, so taking a nice lizard pose. You might want to. It's where she gets a little bit louder, does she? Isn't it? So <laughs> I'm battling with her, with my voice with her. So reach it. You might want to take both of your blocks inside your front foot. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Take your elbows down. Lower the chin towards the chest. And just have a nice little roll around this hip. Lizard pose is a wonderful back opener because you're stretching the top of the back. It's also really good to get into those hips. Inhale. Exhale. You can move the blocks away if you want to take it a little bit deeper as you find that you get into this stretch a little bit more. You can leave the back knee down. You can always tuck the back toes and release that back knee. You release the back knee, press that heel away. And then inhale, exhale, push up onto the hands. You can keep the knee down or the knee lifted. 
take the right hand on inside of that right knee and just start to twist for your twisted lizard. So you've got your hand underneath, the supporting hand underneath your shoulder. And then just gently turning that front foot onto the outside edge. So you're lifting your sole of your foot, gently turning it out. Lovely, inhale. And then exhale, bring it back round. Heel, play the foot back in, take it into your runner's lunge, so lift the back knee. And then just spin on those, on the back heel and bring it up for a nice side lunge. It's fine if you're facing the back, don't worry. <laughs> Keep over. I'd go back onto the other leg because you just stretch through that leg. You could be, hang on. <laughs> so face the back, do the same as Libby. That's it. Perfect. Lovely. I'll talk you through, don't worry. Wonderful. So inhale, lift the chest. You can even release and take your hands to Anjali Mudra. Excellent. Pull that core in as you exhale. In fact, your Adhyana Banda, lifting. Inhale, and then exhale, hands down, press into a lovely wide forward fold. So pressing the feet forward, the foot they're facing the long edge of the mat, press the hands into the mat. You might want to inhale and lift, and then exhale to draw the crown of the head down. You can hold on to the piece, your piece fingers around your big toes, and use the elbows, your hands to gently, smoothly bring yourself in. Inhale, exhale, that looks wonderful. Keep edging the hands in, and then inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself up, sink the knees a little bit, breathe all the way up, roll the shoulders and step to the other end of your mat. Wonderful, roll the shoulders. Let's just take a nice Uttanasana, so reaching up to Urdha Hastasana, and then swan dive all the way down, just release the back, release the legs. Take a, a rag doll, so opposite hands, opposite elbows. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, and then place the hands down, and then step all the way back into your plank. Breathe through Chaturanga, or you can drop the knees, chin and chest. Inhale through to up dog. And then exhale over the toes or back onto the knees, and reach up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift onto the tiptoes and exhale, roll through the feet, sink the heels, lift the hips, press the chest through, look towards the, the thighs, the knees. Inhale, and this time as you inhale, lift up the left leg. And then exhale, bring nose towards the knee, dropping the shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, back up the three-legged dog. Exhale, taking the knee to the outer elbow. Inhale, back up to three-legged dog. Exhale, take the knee across the body to the other elbow. Inhale, back up to three-legged dog. And then exhale, bring the foot in between the hands. And take the blocks. <laughs> Put it again. My blocks are the opposite end of my mat. So bring the blocks if you wish to use them for your runner's lunge and pyramid pose. So sinking the hips. Lifting the chest, lift that heart space. Inhale, exhale back. Use that Ujjayi breath, keep it going. Inhale, exhale, dropping into the hips. And then inhale. As you exhale, bringing the back foot in a little bit, straight into the front leg, turn that back toe out, it's pointing to the top of the corner of your mat. And then inhale. Have the blocks by the sides of your feet if you wish to use your blocks. You might feel that as you lengthen into this pose, you might want to remove the blocks and take your hands down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, release that toe further down the mat. Bring the knee down. And we're going to take it into our lizard. So heel toe, that front foot over to the edge of the mat. Bring the both blocks and lie them down if you wish to use your blocks for lizard. Inhale, lift the heart space and then exhale, take it onto the elbows 
have a little roll through the hip here. Maybe go side to side, maybe want to get a bit of a circle. Just have a little release of that energy, release that tension in the hip. Inhale. Exhale, you may wish to move the blocks out of the way. Take the elbows down, tuck the chin. Wonderful. You can release that back knee if you wish to by tucking the toes, press the heel away and release for a higher lizard. Inhale. As you exhale, press into the hands, just coming up. And then you can take your hand, your left hand into that back knee. Inhale and exhale, start to twist your twisted lizard. So you're just taking that little toe over. So you're rolling, releasing the sole of the foot and turning the chest towards that bent leg. Inhale, it's lovely, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, bringing that knee back round, heel toe the foot back in, lift the back knee, so in your runner's lunge, and then flip on the inside edge of that back foot and take it into your side lunge. Keep the hands here or release your Anjali Mudra. Inhale, lift. Feel supported, feel strong. Ignite that fire. Get that self-esteem, that self-inner confidence going. Inhale. Release the shoulders from the ears. Inhale. As you exhale, place the hands onto the floor. Release. And then press into the mat for your wide forward fold. Let's take a twist here. So taking your left hand, in line with your nose, inhale, exhale, that right arm away. Try and keep the hips level. It's really tempting to lift up through that right hip. Try and keep the, lip, the hip level, the lips level, the hips level. Squeeze that top shoulder back. Get the alignment through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, that right arm down, replace it. Lift through the left arm. Release, squeeze that shoulder up. Open the chest. Keep the hips level. Press out towards the little toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Float the arm down as you exhale. And then heel toe the feet in, and then toes in, then the heels in. Bend to the knees, release the hands. We're gonna come up to goddess. So just bringing the feet in just slightly. Sink to the tailbone. Cut the tailbone, release the shoulders. Lovely, inhale. Exhale, sink a bit deeper. Release and take the hands, opposite elbows, reaching back, inhale. As you exhale, take a nice lean over, side bend one way, inhale to center. Exhale to the other side, opening up the top shoulder. Looks wonderful, looks really good, inhale. And then bringing the hands back down, heel toe the feet back in and take it into Malasana. So just taking your nice yogi squat. Wonderful, just take a nice little rock. And let's take a twist here as well. So taking your left hand down, inhale, exhale away to the right. You can always use this left upper arm to squeeze into that inside of your thigh. Again, just creating that resistance, inhale. Exhale, squeezing down through that right arm, reaching up to the left arm. And again, that back of the right arm, pressing into the right thigh. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale away. And just breathing it down briefly onto your knees. We're gonna take a nice camel pose. So it is strong for the back. Let's see how you go. We've got different variations of this one. You can go to the side or you can stay forward, whatever you wish to do. Roll the shoulders back. Bring the toes up if you want to. I always have to because my arms aren't very long. You can have the toes down. It's a bit of a deeper stretch of the toes down. You can always take your hands on the lower part of your back and just lean back. Inhale. Exhale. It's a chest opener and a back bend. So you are opening up through the chest. Lovely, that might feel enough for you. 
If you wish to take it into a deeper stretch, inhale the right arm up, taking it back onto the heel. Inhale and exhale the left arm over. And then reaching up and out, you're shining the inside of your elbows out to the side. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And then release, bring the arms back over. Take it into a lovely narrow balasana, a bit of a counter stretch, just taking the back in the opposite direction. So just have a nice breather here. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale, press your hands into the mat, tuck the toes, and release up into a lovely forward fold. So just take your Uttanasana. Inhale, half Uttanasana, so press the hands into the shins, or fingers to the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then step to the top of your mat. We're gonna work each end of the mat, okay? So inhale, rolling the shoulders and the arms up to Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, float down through your swan dive to Uttanasana. Inhale, half forward fold. Fingertips to mat or hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Take a step, jump or a walk back into plank. Lower through your chaturanga for four, three, two, dig the elbows in. Reach up for your up dog or keep the thighs down for cobra. Exhale over the toes, reaching up into downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, press the heels down. Inhale the left leg up. Squeeze that leg. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hip. So you're opening up the opposite shoulder, taking a glance underneath that left armpit. Either stay here or drop into your wild thing. So dropping the toe down, reaching and releasing that left arm up and over, opening up the chest and the heart space to the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, flipping your dog back over, reaching back up into three-legged dog. And then swooping that foot down in between the hands. And then bring yourself all the way up to your high lunge. Inhale, exhale, bending into that knee. Inhale. As you exhale, come in, bring yourself into your warrior two. So flipping on the inside of the back foot, pressing into that front knee, reaching the shoulders. The shoulders are parallel to the front wall. And then just turning and glancing down your fingernails. Inhale, drop the back hand, reach up through the left hand, exhale back into reverse warrior, open up the top shoulder, keep pressing into this knee. You have your knee over your ankle, lovely. Inhale, exhale, take the left elbow onto the left knee, reach the right arm over to your side angle, keep dropping into these hips. Inhale. Reaching over and around with that right hand and try and link on to that front thigh. Stay here or take your bind. So re reaching under, trying to link and hold. Inhale. On the exhale, draw that top shoulder up and back. Keep pressing into that little toe of that back foot. So you can really lengthen and stretch through the back leg. Keep dropping into the hip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, as you exhale, release the hands, bring them either side of your front foot and bring yourself into your runner's lunge. And then step your back foot into your front foot and take a lovely forward fold just to release here. Inhale, opening up, exhale, hands to heart center. And then I want you to take your right hand, oh no, sorry, your left hand, <laughs> I'm doing the same one. Your left hand into your, into your, your left hand, your left foot into your hand. I'll get there in the end. We're going to go for Namata Jasana, our dancer's pose. So feel nice and steady through this left foot, which is supporting you. Your right foot is in the top of your hand. You can either reach forwards. Okay. Do you want to turn to face me? It might be a bit easier, might it? So turn to face me if you wish to. 
of your right hand, you can either just take it here, you can reach forward through that left arm and just press the top of the hand into the palm, the top of the foot rather, into the palm. I'm getting all my hands and feet mixed up tonight. Or you can roll the inside of your foot into the palm of your hand. So you're holding that inside of your foot in the palm of your hand. Almost got your thumb just pressing into the ball of the foot. Inhale. As you exhale, you can lift through the knee. Trying to keep the heart space up. You can even take a nice chin mudra. Inhale. Exhale. What I love about this pose, you can take it to whatever level you want to. So you just have to listen to your body and see where it takes you. If you, if you are holding the foot into the palm of your hand here, it's just more of a chest opener or a shoulder opener here. So take it to the level. Inhale. And then as you exhale, breathe yourself down. Ooh. And just take a nice reaching up. Exhale away. Just take a nice forward fold. Inhale, roll the spine back up, reach the arms above the head, hands to your heart center. Roll the shoulders back and down, and then step along and come to the other end of your mat, and we'll work through the other leg this time. So inhale, reaching up. Exhale, float all the way down. Inhale, half forward fold, fingertips to the mat, or hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Step, walk, or you can do your jump back into plank, making sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift. As you exhale, dig the elbows into your chaturanga. Three, two, and one. Come all the way up for up dog, or take your cobra. Inhale. Take it back onto the knees or over the toes. Reach and release the hips all the way up. Inhale. Lift the toes, exhale, sink the heels, lift the hips, press the chest through. Wonderful. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale and reach the right leg up this time. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. You can either leave it there and just open the hip or take your wild thing, drop the foot down, open up the right arm, just open the chest all the way over. Inhale. As you exhale, flip your dog. Read yourself back up into your three-legged dog. So strong in here tonight. It's wonderful. Inhale. As you exhale, float your foot and your knee down. Plant your foot in between your front hands. Your front hands, like you have back hands as well. <laughs> and then breathe yourself into your runner's lunge. Inhale. As you exhale, release the hands, breathing up into your low lunge. Exhale, sink that knee, press through that back heel. Inhale. As you exhale, flip on the inside of that back foot, breathe yourself into your warrior two. Just check your front heels in line with your back arch. Open your arms, think parallel to the wall in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, sink the knee, look down, the fingertips, roll the back shoulder back. Inhale, drop the back arm, reach through that right arm, exhale back, opening up the top shoulder. Inhale. As you exhale, breathing your elbow onto your knee, reaching up and over with your left, keep dropping into the hips all the time, just making sure that your knee's over your ankle, reaching and opening up to the top shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, opening. Hooking onto the top leg and using that leg to open up or take through for your bind. So reaching forwards and down, dropping the inside of your knee with your shoulder, taking your bind, exhale, pulling back that top shoulder. Wonderful. Keep pressing into the little toe of that straight leg, that back leg, so you can feel it stretching through the back leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, release the hands, bring them over either side of the front foot, turning the back toe and then step that back foot into the front foot. Take your forward fold. 
Inhale, opening up the arms. And exhale, hands to heart center. And then turn to the front. And we'll do the other side. So, reaching up, taking your sole of your upper foot into the palm of your hand of your left foot. So this might feel quite enough for you. You might want to balance yourself out. You could even put your hand on your hip. I want to hold the wall. You can turn then, start to bring the inside of the foot into the palm of the hand. Inhale, lift through that right arm. Then exhale, start to draw and lift the foot away from you. Fix your gaze, your drishti your focus. Pull that Uddiyana Banda in, lift, inhale. Keep reaching, reaching, see if there's any more lift in there. Keep pressing the foot away from you into the hand. Then breathe yourself down. Lovely, just roll through the shoulders. Excellent. And then just want to inhale and up. Exhale, float down. We've really opened up through the back today. So I want to have a little go at a nice bakasana. But inhale, reaching back up all the way up to Urdhvasasana. Exhale, hands to heart centre. So step to the top of the mat. Does it matter which you want as your top? Go to one end of your mat and we'll give it a go. You might want to leave a little bit of space in front of you. So we're going to come into our crow. Okay, inhale. As you exhale, take the feet out, just point the toes towards the edges of the mat, and then exhale down into your malasana, your yogi squat, and just take a nice rock side to side, open up the hips, lift through the chest, lovely. And then exhale, just spread the fingers as wide as you can, and just take a little rock, we're coming to an arm balance, so even if you don't do the full arm balance, you can prep for it and you're still working and stretching through the muscles. So inhale, lift the hips, press the feet down, and then start to rise onto the toes and just taking the knees, pressing into the upper arms, the backs of the upper arms. And then what you can do is just take a nice little rock, forwards and back. And with your bakasana, you're going to try and pull that Uddiyana Banda in. So basically pulling in your belly button to spine. So you can just lift one leg. Go through, lift the other leg and just see how you feel. Start just rocking forwards and back. <gasps> yes, Julie, that's it. Wonderful. Wonderful, Amanda. That looks great. So press those heat, the knees into the tops of the arm. So just pressing into that top of the arm. And that just gives you that strength and stability. Start just rocking forwards and back. One Marie, you're gonna fly. It looks good, looks really good. And Pav, we're about to fly. And you hit the deck. <laughs> yeah. It does. You can even put a jumper or something or the blocks in front of you just so that you know. Just catch my face. You're okay, yeah. <laughs> they want to cut a yoga with a bloody nose. You're right, Libby. She's so going to fly. <laughs> That's it. Just, it's just getting that centre of gravity, just feeling. It actually, you've got to lift the hips quite high. So the hips are quite high with this move, this pose. Did you do it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you do have your bakasana quite, oh, quite nice and you feel really confident, you might even want to just push back into plank. She says. <laughs> so from here, you can push back into your plank. Okay. Yes, Amanda. Wonderful. So feel strong. It's that fire in your belly, powering you up. So if you have, if you have a little rock, if you come into your plank, everyone come into plank, and then we can either drop through chaturanga or drop the knees, the chin and the chest. If your arms have really had enough tonight now. <laughs> And just have a moment here. You might want to put your hand, your forehead onto your hand, put one hand on top of the other. Inhale and exhale. Just allow, almost allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. 
just allow that stretch through the back. Just press the hips into the mat and just allow the stretch through the legs. So you can point the toes, but just toning through the feet. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, press into the hands. Breathe yourself all the way up and take it back into a lovely child's pose. So wide knees, sinking the hips, reaching forward, lowering the forehead down, creeping the fingertips up the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself up. And just take it onto one hip to so bring the knees in. Roll the feet round and breathe yourself down onto your back. We're going to into bridge pose. So just roll yourself down. Have your feet about hip width apart so you can tickle the back of your heels. That's how close your feet need to be to your hips. Press your palms into the mat. Inhale, exhale, and just lift the hips. We're reaching up here and then start to walk the shoulder blades together. Clasp the hands underneath you, stretch your hands down the mat, but lift, lift, lift through the knees, lift through the hips. Squeeze the knees as if there's that block or a balloon in between them. Inhale. Exhale. Closing the throat here. Inhale. As you exhale, release the hands. Put them nice and flat into the mat and start to just gently roll yourself down. And then stretch your legs straight or come into fish pose. Sit on the backs of your hands, so just underneath you. And then lift the chest and start to bring the elbows underneath you. Point through the toes and then gently take the head all the way back if that feels good for your neck. So you're looking all the way behind you. Lift through the chest. Wonderful. So lift, you're pressing into the elbow, lifting the chest, squeezing and pointing through the feet. Inhale. As you exhale, just tuck the chin towards the chest, lower yourself back of your head onto the mat and then release the hands from underneath you. And just take the knees into the chest. Take a nice twist here. So taking the hands out to the side, palms down. The knees are level with the hips, inhale. And then exhale, the knees over to the right hand side. And just take a glance over your left shoulder. You can stay here or you can release that top leg. Take hold of your big toe with your peace fingers and stretch that top leg out. Keep the knees aligned. Keep pressing both shoulders into the mat. Inhale. And then exhale, release the toe. Breathe the knees up. And then over as you exhale to the other side. Take your glance over your right shoulder. Just enjoy that twist. Inhale to that area, that Manipura chakra. And then release the top leg. Take your peace fingers around that big toe. Just stretch enjoy that extra stretch from the outer thigh keep pressing both shoulders into your mat inhale and then exhale release the toes you're holding it breathe your knees all the way back up and just take a happy baby so peace fingers around the big toes soles of the feet to the sky and just draw the knees down towards the armpits lift the tailbone wonderful stretch for the hips just take a nice rock side to side. Keep releasing the shoulders from the ears. And then inhale. Exhale, bring the knees together. Bring the feet down. And take your Shavasana. So put any layers on if you wish to or something under your head. Your eye pillow. And just allow the feet to flop to the side. Mm. 
Inhale. Exhale. Turn the palms to face the sky. Allow the feet to just naturally turn out, just release the energy. Allow the fingers to naturally curl. Relax the jaw. Relax the eyes. Just feel that gentle rise and fall to the belly, just allowing the breath to settle down. And just want to visualize a nice yellow light, the here the yellow glow, just in the center, just above your belly button. Just feel that warmth from the glow spreading across your body. It starts to spread down your hips, down to your thighs, warming up your thighs, relaxing them. That warmth and that light continues down towards your knees, the front and the back of your knees. And this warm, glowing sensation continues down towards your calves and your shins. Wrapping itself around your ankles, warming up your ankles, your feet, soles of your feet and your arches, tops of your feet. And then this glow and this warmth spreads down to each and every one of your toes. Feel that warmth in your feet. And that yellow glow radiates up the body now. Radiating up towards the chest, up the spine, all across your back, across your shoulder blades, relaxing and taking the tension away from your shoulders. Feel the warmth as it wraps its round your shoulders all the way down the arms, upper arms, the elbows, the inner elbows, all the way down, the lower arms, the wrists, backs of the hands, and that warmth, that glow, and the palms, and down each and every one of your fingers and thumbs. And feel that glow, that light, that warmth, spreading up your neck, over your jaw, relaxing your jaw, spreading up the face, over your cheekbones, towards your eyes, your temples, across your eyebrows, all up and over your forehead, right away to the top of the crown of your head. And just feel glowing and warm with this yellow light.
and then I start to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. Inhale and take a full body stretch. Reaching the hands above your head, stretching through the toes. Inhale. Exhale, start to breathe the knees towards the chest. Lift the tailbone, take a nice little rock side to side. And when you feel ready, just taking a little roll to one side, maybe just quietly in the head with the hand. Just take a breath here. And then press that top hand into the mat. Breathe yourself all the way up to a nice seated position. There's no rush. Nice and gentle. And just come to a nice seated position. Place your hands on your knees. Maybe turn your palms up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale. Just take your hands to your heart centre. And just like to remind you of your affirmation or just your thoughts for the day you might want to take forward with you throughout your week. Just find your fire. Find that strength from within. Blink your eyes open. Namaste. Oh, thank you for joining me. Oh, pop the message. Oh, I feel a bit more stretched now. <laughs> yeah, you you feel it, don't you? You really feel it. If you don't, if you don't, yeah, you don't stretch. Oh, you feel so different. Oh no. 